Hey guys, Robin here. I want to share with you today why I think that the Kindle is actually the best way to read technical books. Now in the past, I used to read technical books only as physical books, and that works well of course, and there are certain advantages that physical books have. For instance, you have the physical touch of that book and you can more easily scroll through the book and go to a specific page in your book. However, there are of course also a lot of downsides, especially if you're traveling a lot and you want to bring your books with you, then of course you have to make a lot of space in your luggage just to bring a small number of technical books with you. With the Kindle, you are very flexible, so you have your entire library of books available with you and not just on the Kindle Paperwhite that I'm using, but on any device that is running the Kindle app. So for instance, when I'm commuting, I just have my phone on me, I can pull it out and I have the same book library available that I have available on my Kindle. And I can basically have a look at the notes that I took, the highlights that I took, and I can pick up where I left off on my Kindle. And so I can use the time really efficiently, look up some things, continue reading, studying. And then later on, for example, if there are some code examples, I may pull this up on my laptop. And that's another advantage. If I'm working on a code example, I don't have to type everything out, but I can just open the Kindle app on my MacBook and then copy and paste the code over into my code editor and run the code instantly. The fact that you can take notes and also highlight parts of the book is also a huge advantage because after reading a book, maybe a couple years ago, I may want to refresh what actually was the summary of that book and then I can just have a look at the Kindle library and take a look at the summary at my book notes and I have a quick and concise overview of what that book entails. Of course, I could write that down by hand using physical books, but then I would have to organize my notes and this way it's already in a digital form. I can search for it, I have a lot of benefits. Now, one thing that took a little bit getting used to for me was actually switching to different chapters or jumping to a specific section in the book. That's easier with a physical book because you can very easily see where you are in that book and you can jump to that section of that book. Now with the Kindle it works slightly differently. You would use the search function or the table of contents to jump to that section. It's a little different, but it's quite easy to get used to. Kindle books are also generally cheaper compared to physical books, so you can save some money there. And at least in principle, there can be updates to the Kindle books made after you purchased it. Now, admittedly, that happens rarely, but with a physical copy of a book, of course, you will be stuck with whatever was printed in that book. With the Kindle, since it's a digital version, it can be updated and then made available with a new version later on. And one option that I often use with a Kindle is the option to download a sample of a book. So if I'm not entirely sure if that book is actually helpful to me, I'm just going to download a sample of that book. So it, typically you can read the first 5% of the book, get a better overview if it is what you expected, and then you can still make the purchase and get the full book or you decide against it. So I can definitely recommend using the Kindle. I think it's a really great way to read technical books. And if you just want to try it out, then of course you can just download the Kindle app on your phone, or you can read it online using the Kindle Cloud Reader. But personally, I would recommend going with a physical Kindle. It's just easier on your eyes. The battery life is fantastic and it synchronizes with your phone and the Cloud Reader. Now, in terms of the actual Kindle device, there are different options available. There's the basic Kindle, there's the Kindle Paperwhite that I have and there's a more high-end Kindle Oasis. For me personally, I think the Kindle Paperwhite is in the sweet spot. It has a higher resolution than the standard Kindle, while not being so highly priced as the Kindle Oasis. And you have some nice features, for example, a background light that you can use to read at night. And it's also available with more storage if, for instance, you want to also save audiobooks on the device. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like down below and feel free to subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video.